Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about NFL Draft Bust Analytics, specifically talking about the Raiders' Minalik Watson. Uh, now, Minalik Watson is uh, someone that was uh, drafted, of course, in the 2013 NFL Draft, which was by far probably one of the worst drafts that the Raiders have had uh easily the last decade in, in some ways and that's saying something considering some of the drafts the Raiders have had in that time span um but Malik Watson just kind of shows a lack of understanding of athleticism data at the position um, age and just a whole bunch of other stuff so in this video if you're new to the channel new to the work that I do all terms and definitions will be in the description but we're going to go over Malik Watson's overall profile in terms of what he looked like from an athleticism standpoint um, and some of the reasons as to why he didn't become um, the sort of second round pick that you're looking for. Now, um, the first thing I want to start off with is basically his athleticism profile and mainly just put all the focus there because Watson was someone that was considered to be a athletic, like a raw athletic project. And this was his athleticism traits. He was a 47.05 explosive or body strength score, 54.84 speed score, and a 12.52 flexibility score. Now, I don't know about you, but when somebody says that somebody is a raw athletic, uh, you know, uh, upside type player, you're talking about somebody who's really athletic, but just as raw and needs some time to develop. Watson is, eh, you know, you know, like, like this is not, this is not a case of like, this guy is raw. He has athletic upside. He, he doesn't have athletic upside. He's pretty unathletic. Um, in many uh, ways, especially in terms of flexibility testing, and uh, really only tested more so as a starter than as a all-pro or pro bowl uh, tackle. And not only that, when you look at the averages at the position, so this is the average scores for all-pro, pro bowl, and starting offensive tackles, woefully below what those averages are in terms of explosiveness, speed, and especially flexibility testing. Add in the other fact that Malik Watson was relatively new to football, you know, being a guy that was from the United Kingdom and was also older. You know, this wasn't a guy that was 23 when he entered the draft class either. He was well into 24 um, plus years old when he was drafted. And it just doesn't make a lot of sense. So bottom line is Malik Watson just is someone that from the get-go did not have great traits to become a all-pro player, Pro Bowl player, or even starter player in terms of the position. And ultimately, it just was what it is, man. Um, I, this is why you need to be paying attention to athleticism data at the offensive tackle position. It is definitely hard to find a guy who has great athleticism traits, has great film, and just you know great all-around physical characteristics for the position. But when you start making concessions or when you start saying that a guy is this raw athletic upside guy, when he doesn't have athleticism upside, then you really have to question what people are talking about when it comes to draft evaluation. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn at wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jim Metrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so you're always reminded when the video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.